Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Definitely coming to you guys today in the same hoodie, same makeup, same glasses, just a different spot because I am filming this on the same day that I just filmed my last video that I uploaded. So today I have a really small Ulta haul, which I almost didn't feel like filming because I didn't really order that much, but I ordered a couple of interesting things that I kind of wanted to share because they're new to me and they might be new to y'all and you might be interested in picking them up. So if you want to see what I bought, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I got is totally a classic. I get this literally almost every single time I place an order on Ulta. Most of the reason it's the time it's the reason I placed the order on Ulta in the first place, and it is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is my all-time favorite setting spray. It makes my skin look so nice. It really like pre like melts all of my makeup into my skin, making it look more natural. And I don't know, I just really love it. So um, I picked up one of these and this guy is $16, just so you know. The next thing I got is I got some stuff from Loving Tan. It is summer and as things start to open back up, we might be going out in public a little bit more. Specifically, I've been going to my lake house, which is in a very secluded area. Like there's not many people and it's literally like a double wide trailer, nothing fancy, but I'm out on the lake and it would be nice to be a little bit tan because your girl is so freaking pale from being in quarantine. I mean, I'm pale in general, but quarantine has definitely made it worse. So I got the Loving Tan and deluxe applicator mitt because my old um self tanning mitt is like really really dingy and dirty and it just needs to be thrown out to be frank then i got the loving tan two hour express deluxe bronzing mousse in dark and i almost want to do a whole video of trying out this tanner for the first time because i normally get the dark version in saint tropez which is what i normally use but the store that i used to work at where i got a discount on saint tropez is no longer like they closed <laughs> um so i figured i would try out loving tan because i've heard so many good things about it and like all the bloggers all the youtubers use loving tan so i figured i'd try it and i went for dark but i have a feeling this is going to be darker than the San Tropez dark. So I'm really interested to try this out and see how it transformed my very pale skin. The next thing I got, I'm so freaking excited about. So I've been using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation for a long time. I've probably used maybe three or four bottles of it and that stuff is like a teensy little bit goes a long way. So it's lasted me a long time. Like I've probably been using it for about a year now, which is a good amount of time. That being said, I have been experiencing pretty bad breakouts for the past year. So I figured, you know what, if I'm going to switch something up, might as well try out a new foundation as well to see if possibly that foundation is leading to some of the breakouts. So I got a new foundation. I saw Tati Westbrook talk about this on her channel and she said it was one of the best foundations that she's used in a long time and it's super full coverage, super long wearing, which is exactly what I need. So this is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And I am so excited to try this out. I think the packaging is kind of cute too. Um, and it is in a little squeezy tube and it doesn't look like a lot, but I have a feeling that like the Juvia's Place Foundation, a little bit is going to go a long way. I think this was about $36 and it's one fluid ounce and I'm pretty sure Juvia's Place is $20 for one fluid ounce. So definitely a heftier price tag. But if this doesn't break me out, I will pay that price. I got the shade 0 0.1, which is literally the palest shade you can find. And I'm really happy that I went with this one because in the past, I feel like um, Smashbox has not had the most diverse shade range ever like their original studio skin foundation i could not find one that was light enough for me um and it turned really orange like no matter what shade i use i used all different undertones all the lightest shades none of them worked for me they would all turn really orange but this one my kind of tactic is that i have to get a more yellow foundation to balance out how much pink i have in my skin if i use a pink foundation and it oxidizes at all it will look very orangey and i will have like that line on my jaw um but this one as you can see on my hand it does look pretty darn pale but as it oxidizes on my skin 
um i'm assuming that it will kind of adjust and get a teensy bit darker and i can always bronze it up so i'd rather go lighter too light than too dark so yeah i'm really excited and i'm really happy with the shade that i got and i just cannot wait to try this foundation out for real the next thing i got is um some sunscreen because it is that time of year where spf is extra extra important because the uv index is so high in the summer especially here in georgia in the south this is the clinique super defense city block broad spectrum spf 50. I always recommend using SPF 50 on the face just because you want a really good amount of protection but anything above 50 is kind of just mumbo jumbo like it doesn't really get more effective than that but combining an SPF 50 with a really good vitamin C before you apply this increases the longevity of your sunscreen and also increases like the protection that you're gonna get from it. I'm super duper excited about this. I can't remember if this is a mineral or chemical sunscreen. It says it's oil free. I want to say this is not a mineral sunscreen, but I could be wrong. It doesn't say on the box, but looking at the ingredients, I wanna say that it is not mineral mineral which i would have preferred and i kind of am mad that i didn't look at that closely but i want to try this out anyway because i've seen a couple people talk about this and i've seen them really like it i think the thing that people like about it is that it has some tackiness to it so it almost works like a primer oh i didn't show you the guys that here let me do another little dab so you guys can see so it's kind of got this orangey tint to it it doesn't really smell like too sunscreeny which i really like because sometimes sunscreens can be like ooh, really powerful but yeah, I feel like it just has like, I don't know if you guys can tell, I feel like it just has like a really nice finish to it. Like it dries down and is kind of tacky. So I feel like it's like really gonna help my makeup stay on, which I really, really like. So I'm very excited to try that one out. I just hope it doesn't give me flashback because like I said, it might be a chemical sunscreen. And FYI, the reason that sunscreens can give you some flashback is just because of the way that they protect you so a chemical sunscreen actually reflects the light away from your skin versus a mineral sunscreen will absorb it before it gets to your skin so they just kind of treat you differently and that's the reason that you might get some flashback is because a chemical sunscreen is taking that light and flashing it away from your skin like re like literally reflecting it i don't know how else to say it that's all i know how to say it but yeah that's why i prefer a mineral sunscreen because then if i am wearing it you know into the night or something it won't um have any flashback okay moving on because i'm not shutting up next i have the biolage rebalance scalp oil this is for all scalp types and includes cedarwood peppermint fennel and lemongrass and i actually tried this literally last night because i was way too excited about it i mentioned i think in a previous video that i get a really irritated scalp in the summer i don't know if it has to do with allergies or what but my scalp gets very very dry in the summertime sometimes so dry to the point where it will flake and start to bleed and it's really really bad and it gets very itchy and ugh, it's just the absolute worst so i was looking for some treatments and i saw on um, a YouTube ad that Briogeo just came out with a scalp treatment and I was like oh my gosh I should definitely try that but as you probably know they do not sell Briogeo at Ulta and I didn't want to place a whole separate order so I found a different one this is the one from Biolage and it is a scalp oil slash scalp treatment so basically what you do is it says you section your hair out into different parts so like you would separate out you know a section and then a section and whatever and then you take this little dropper this is what the bottle looks like it's super cute and you take a little dropper and you kind of follow the line of your hair and drip it all the way back down and then you just take time to massage it in and it says you can leave it overnight for like a really intensive treatment or you can just leave it in for like an extended period of time i think i left mine in for like two or three hours um and i just threw my hair up in a bun after i put it in granted it is not super duper oily so like after you put it in you'll feel that there's oiliness but like I didn't like my scalp to me at least didn't look like a super oily gross scalp so if you have a really really dry scalp you can probably use this like during the day um but be very like mindful of that don't put like a ton in your hair and then go out because you might look like a grease head um 
but I tried it out and I think I like it so far. I mean, I definitely feel like, especially up front here, this is where it gets the worst. I'm not sure why, but like right here is where the dandruff and the dryness and the itchiness usually is. And I don't have any so far today. Granted, I just washed my hair last night and it always gets worse on day two. So hopefully it's not, but like I haven't, I mean, I don't, I haven't had like any dandruff that I have noticed so far and I haven't like, um, had any itchiness. So hopefully it worked. It does say to shampoo twice after you're using this, but I didn't do that. I used my scalp massager and I just, I just shampooed once because I feel like with my scalp massager, I'm getting really deep in there and breaking up all that oil and making sure it's getting out of my hair. So I don't know. Um, you guys might want to do it, especially if you're have like an oily head, you might want to shampoo twice after you use this. I'm not sure. You kind of want to play around with it and see what works for you. But that is everything I got. Like I said, really super short little haul, but wanted to show you guys what I got because I'm excited about trying out some new products and seeing how they work out for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And if you did, please give it a like and hit that big red subscribe button down below to come hang out with me more often on this channel and follow the socials down there as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah, yeah.